Good evening, everyone. Well, not the snow we expected today, but we did see that precipitation fall. A little drizzle out there today. We did see that rain make its way into the viewing area. Maybe parts of the western counties, such as Christian, Pyatt, and Macon County, did see some of that wintry mix in that snowfall. But here in Charleston, we did mostly see that rain. Air conditions for right now, though, we are seeing temperatures around 36 degrees here in Charleston. That cloud coverage is starting to pick up 36 in FHM, 34 in Decatur. And we are starting to see that rain still falling in parts of Paris with temperatures around 38 degrees. Future cast for tonight, we are seeing that wintery mix make its way in through parts of Taylorville and Decatur. But for the most part, we are seeing some rainfall here in Charleston and parts of Casey. Maybe some dry spots around 11 p.m. But for the most part, we will see that rain start to pick up as we get into the overnight tonight. We could see some potential, some more potential rainfall as we get into the morning. But for tomorrow, we are going to see some mostly cloudy conditions to start off the day and we'll see some rainfall come as we get into the afternoon hours as well. But then for the most part, we will dry up and we could see some snow flurries as we get into the later half of the day around 5 p.m. on Friday as well. So we'll start to see that cloud coverage start to pick up as we get into the later half of the day of Saturday. But for the hometown highlight tonight, we do have Moultrie County on the spotlight around 37 degrees in Sullivan, 38 in Codwell, 38 in Allenville, and 38 degrees in Gays. We do see some rainy conditions for tomorrow and we could see some potential snow flurries as well, so we can't rule those out. Winds coming out of the west around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So that's that. For the overnight tonight, though, we do have temperatures around 33 degrees. That rain and wintery mix is going to make its way into the viewing area. Winds out of the east-southeast around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So make sure you have your umbrellas ready for the morning because it will be a little wet out there. Make sure you give yourself a little time just in case slick conditions could be in the forecast. For a little daily breakdown for tomorrow, we do have that rain in the morning, but we're going to start to clear up around 9 a.m., 34 degrees, 35 by lunchtime. And that rain is going to start to clear as we get into the afternoon hours, mostly cloudy by 3 p.m. Then we do have some possible snow flurries around 6 p.m. with temperatures around 32 degrees. Futurecast rain totals, not that significant, right around under half an inch here in Charleston. Most significant is in Vermilion County with around 8 tenths of an inch in Danville and around 6 tenths of an inch in Champaign. So any more rain than that is going to be right, right under a half an inch. For Saturday and the overnight hours, we could see some snowfall as we get into the early morning hours on Saturday. But then, then it's going to start to push its way through as we get into the early morning hours on Saturday as well, around 8 a.m. We will start to see that snow start to make its way out. Could have some snow flurries as we go through the day, but for the most part, we will have mostly cloudy conditions for Saturday to end the day. For the next seven days, though, we do have temperatures in the 30s for tomorrow. We have that chance of rain making its way into the forecast. 38 by Saturday, mostly cloudy conditions. Sunday, we do have partly cloudy conditions with temperatures topping out around 40. Above average temperatures throughout most of next week. Temperatures around 46 degrees on Tuesday. We do have the chance of that PM rain also. But temperatures back in the 40s around Thursday with temperatures around 42 degrees and mostly cloudy conditions.